Welcome back to Gargoyle's Quest 2, The Demon Darkness. Last time, remember, we were sent on a quest by the late king of Etruria to actually find out what happened to King Bar and his magic. And now that we found out what happened to his magic, well... It is time for us to find the gremlin stick. And how do we do that? Well, we have to go and get the night drop. It is the only way we can actually get... It is the only way we can actually at least get the gremlin stick. You must be from the ghoul realm. And this enemy will repeatedly spawn after you beat it, so... After you beat these three rock enemies, that's it. Now you can farm for vials like this. If you so choose. But I'm not going to. So this is where we can actually find what we need, which is here. This is the forest. And this place is sort of careful. You have to be very careful here, mainly just because it is a maze of darkness. A lot of foul things here. I mean, lots of foul things here. <laughs> and yes, you can actually glitch yourself upon that, um, living platform. What you want to do properly is get on this platform, just reach here, and you're going to have to go quite a few ways to get where you're going to have to go. And believe me, when I was doing my practice run, I came here at least five times to think if I if I went the wrong way, but once it tells you, oh, you have to go here. One up. Once you go here, you just have to basically wonder where you're gonna go after this. I can never understand why people so anal about people cheating. It's like, oh, like you never cheated a game before.
can never understand what that sound was. But as you see, that will take you right back to the very start of the stage, so you don't want to do that. But then again, the reason why I'm using this is just because, hey, exploration. <laughs> And this is the reason why, <laughs> for some apparent reason, I got lost here. Just because, as I said, you're going to have to go quite a few ways to get where you're going to have to go. I mean, if I had a choice to use save states or cheats, I'd use both. Because, A, it, it's almost like when you do save states and you're expecting to do something perfect, it's like playing Payday. Because you got people who want a stealth mission and then you fuck up once. You fuck up once and all of a sudden, I want to redo the mission. I want to do, st I want to stealth it. This is why whenever I play Payday, I stay heavy. I mean, my character trait is that of um, a technician. Oh, here we go. I mean, my traits are that of like, before I had Infamy, it was Ghost Technician, a bit of Fugitive, so it's like Ghost Technician, Fugitive, and Infiltrator, and I worked hard for getting Infiltrator. technician. I like having the parts of, you know, technician as well as ghost. And that was before Infamy. Now that I have Infamy, it's like, okay, now I just want to, now I just want to make my, now I just want to make everything I have just seem so much better. So as you can tell, yes, I'm actually going the right way, because you have to go around, don't get to get these, and of course you'll be flying upwards, do not get those vials, it's a trap, they're not worth it, the same goes for the health, it's not worth it, if you can, just try to get one of the vials, if not both. Carefully. Carefully, carefully try to navigate yourself up here because that's the end of the, uh, the free flight. That's the best way you can do it, just try to cling high. Of 
Quick, what you're gonna have to do is fly over these. If you can't fly over these, um, prickles. But you got, yeah, you're gonna have to fly over these prickles. And be careful about the, um, the undead, um, bugs that drop, that drop these little demon eggs on you. And if you want some extra health, there you go. But what you're going to have to do is be careful when going down. I float down here. And just jump over these, like so. Go through this door, and we fight this this jellyfish-like boss. I probably have the names in the description of who these bosses are, but all you have to do for this boss is constantly shoot at it because it'll constantly blow you back. It'll send you forward and, of course, blow you back. But the only thing you have to do is constantly shoot it. And it'll eventually go down like that. And all we have to do is leave. And there's the night drop. That's all you have to do. Just clear the area, you get the night drop and sleep. Something very powerful has built up in Firebrand's body. Firebrand has obtained the Magic Buster. And of course, the Magic Buster is... So you got the pot and the drop. So now you have the Buster. which is stronger than your normal fire. So all we have to do now is go back to Hecate. And Hecate is, um, right up here. So all we have to do is go around like so. here, and back to the house, and something amazing will happen. Oh, you have the night drop in your hands. Now I can make the candle of darkness with it. Wait for a while. Use this candle of darkness at the center of this room. Go to the center of the room like so, and use the candle of darkness. Firebrand used the candle of darkness. The whole place was blacked out. It was the black light that sealed King Ba's magic. It's the King of Destruction's army. Only the Gremlin Stick can dispel the King of Destruction's evil magic. Use the Gremlin Stick before King Bar, and its magic will be released. The Gremlin Stick is in the ruins, which lie deep within the desert Sitem. Go to Desert Sitem now! These wings will enable you to fly over Gaza Valley. Firebrand obtained the wings of a fallen angel. Good luck. So as you can see, now we have the wing of a fallen angel. And 
our magic power is that of the Buster. So all we have to do now is leave. Do I really need to get the... No. I can get... Now, if you don't have the wings of the Fallen Angel, you cannot pass. But once you do, this guy will acknowledge you. Oh! You have the wings of a fallen angel! With those wings, you may be able to fly over Castle Valley. Go to Desert City, Firebrand! I plan to. All you have to do is fly over this gap, you son of a bitch! Fly over this gap like so, and as you can see, the buster resembles a boomerang. And even with turbo on, <laughs> and even with turbo on, it looks like something else. So all you have to do is continuously fly over it, like so, and boop, drop, and here we are in the desert, Sitem. We can get some vials right here, like so, six vials. And we can get some more vials right here. We're going to get the gremlin stick here. We have to constantly be careful here as we are in this area. That's the funny thing about those enemies right there. They can only release two at a time. And, they're the and that's the only time you can actually attack these turrets. When they release two of those um, ghoul, two of those ghosts at the same time. Or you can just flat out shoot them like so. So we're going... carefully go past these spikes like so be careful when going across the sand river of course the blue vials do nothing they're the mimics of this game. But we had to be careful, especially in this negative woods. And just constantly cling to the walls. And since you have the buster, we can we can break these rocks since that is its cup of tea. That's what the buster is really good for, breaking rocks. 
as well as taking care of enemies of this of this stature. And now we have to take on the next boss, which is which looks like a mutated version of Bubba Duck. And we gotta constantly shoot at him because. thing has a tendency to dash across and make these little familiars. But once we destroy him, in which we just did already, we get the gremlin stick. So Firebrand obtained the gremlin stick at the bottom of the desert. Something very powerful has built up in Firebrand's body. Firebrand obtained the Magic Tornado. The Magic Tornado is technically, in Mega Man terms, item one. So... That's what the Magic Tornado is. It is, it is the item one of this game. So what we really want to do is just fly back across that halfway point and go all the way back to Gibea because um, the gremlin stick is the only thing that will save King Bar's life. Or at least his magic power. So our business is concluded with Hecate. With Hecate because she has what she wanted, which is the kind of darkness. Let's see. No, can't go up here because the vial's over there. I guess I would have to go all the way around just to get these vials, like so. Six vials. And with that, we head back to Gibea. No, this is Sidon. Gibea's <laughs> over here, so we have to go all the way back. I'm making things easier for myself, folks, so if you don't like it, tough. long flight. Yes, on my channel, yes, on my channel, I don't really go by any rules. I just like to make things easier on myself. <laughs> so, we're going to head back to Gibea, which is right through this chasm, and bam. we do we use the gremlin stick and that should cure King Bar of his illness uh, uh, uh. wow I can move my body works thank you firebrand I'll give you my power! Kah! 
Now Firebrand can jump higher than before. Let's break the barrier and go to the King's Palace. Firebrand, go to the King's Palace immediately. So, yeah, we got the most important items, which is the pot, the drop, the night drop, the candle of darkness, and the gremlin stick. Now, what he gave us, well, he didn't give us anything. But apparently our level has increased because we now have a level 2 wing, a level 3 jump, and a level, th and level 3 light. And we still have the spectre fingernail, the fallen angel wing, and the dragon armor. With 87 vials, <laughs> which I've never honestly used, and two maelstrom. So, I really should get some lives. Let me actually go and get these lives. From right here, I think. No. Ah, uh, you're the one. You'll exchange 15 vials for... Yeah, Mr. That's fine. Yeah, the first town it was six. Second town it's fifteen. <laughs> so I have four lives now. Four lives, fifty-seven miles. That's why I say lives aren't aren't really a big issue here. Because all you have to do is just pick up vials. And you can find vials just about anywhere. And once you do, all you have to do is like go to, say, Etruria, and just stock, and, and just stock up on, say, a whole bunch of lives, like say, six. Like, like you can basically get five. You can basically get five lives just for dropping off um, thirty vials, and you know it's like six each. So therefore get five lives, make, give you seven, so bam. So, what's going to happen now that Firebrand finally saved King Bar? And what will happen when we reach the King's Palace? Find out next time on Gargoyle's Quest 2, The Demon Darkness. Stay tuned for the next part.